For the 15 million Americans who've been diagnosed with macular degeneration, vision deteriorates slowly from the center of the eye out. It is the leading cause of blindness, and there is no cure. Now, as Leslie Mouton shows us, a new implant could keep these patients from completely losing their sight. Oh, I've been painting all my life. Virginia Nepper Duell's art has been showcased around the world, but at 83, her canvas time is running out. I really can't see out of my right eye at all, hardly. Virginia has wet macular degeneration and is now legally blind. It's like looking through thick sand. A Stanford ophthalmologist is developing the first of its kind minimally invasive retinal implant that could give sight to people like Virginia. People will not even be considered blind anymore. The implant is made of tiny pixels that convert light into electrical current. This is one module of an implant. We plan to put many of them. Uh, each module is about one millimeter in diameter. These modules are implanted at the bottom of the retina. The patient wears goggles that contain a camera that captures the image. The image is processed using pulses near infrared light and turned into electrical signals. Well, those signals stimulate neural cells that are transmitted to the brain, restoring sight. So when you wear uh, goggles, you see this displays uh, basically as a screen in front of you. And so it's a uh, blurred images, uh, but uh, to the extent that I can read large fonts and recognize faces. With the goggles, that, uh, Professor Palinker uh, hopes uh, the user will have 20 over 120 vision. Radiation. That's like going from this to this. Enough vision to keep Virginia painting for years to come. Leslie Mouton, KSAT 12 News.